I'd like to begin by thanking the returning officer, his staff and my fellow candidates for a well-run election in such challenging circumstances. I'd also like to thank my incredible agents, James Lillis, and the thousands of Liberal Democrat campaigners who answered our party's call. A special thanks must go to James's wife, Helen, and their daughters for letting us have so much of James's time over the past few weeks. To the people of Chesham and Amersham, thank you. I am humbled by the faith you've placed in me. Whether I won your vote or not, I will be a strong and independent voice for all of our communities. I will always put your, you first and will continue to listen to your views while holding this government to account. On the subject of strong and independent voices in our world, I have a message for every young woman out there. There will be people who will try to put you down, who will try to block your way and tell you that you can't. I'm here tonight to tell you, you can, you must and you will. Every voice should ring with equal power, equal strength and equal value. That is what the Liberal Democrats stand for and that is what the people of Chesham and Amersham have voted for. Tonight, the voice of Chesham and Amersham is unmistakable. Together, we have said, enough is enough, we will be heard and this government will listen. This campaign has shown that no matter where you live or how supposedly safe a constituency may appear to be, if you want a Liberal Democrat Member of Parliament, you can have a Liberal Democrat Member of Parliament. If you wish to reject Conservative mismanagement and vote for a voice that will represent you and stand up for your rights, then it is the Liberal Democrats who will continue to fight your corner. Under Ed Davies' leadership, we are the party that is taking on this Conservative government and time and again, we're the party that is winning against them. I'd like to thank Ed for his outstanding support for our campaign. Ed, I look forward to joining you and our colleagues in Parliament. This Conservative Party has taken people across our country for granted for far too long. We will continue the work of holding this government to account for letting COVID rip through the care homes. We will speak up, speak up for the three million people excluded from financial support throughout the pandemic. And we will challenge Boris Johnson to be far more ambitious in tackling climate change, supporting our frontline workers and backing our small businesses. The Liberal Democrats will ensure that they will be held accountable and they will be scrutinised. Thank you very much.